Life should be measured in experience, not money. It's just like what you do defines you. Boing Boing teamed up with Institute for the Future and Sun Microsystems to create the Digital Open, an online tech expo for teens 17 and under around the world. Now meet one of the winners. My name is Alexis McAdams. I'm 17 years old, and the name of my project is Directive. Directive is a way for um, people to express their ideas in that um, they want to elicit change in the world. It combines elements of acting, uh, re like historical reenactments, cosplay, a lot of research, and a lot of hard work to um, try to get in people's faces and let people know the issues that are out there. My one example that I posted on the website was um, awareness about uh, refugee camps in Africa. And it's like, there's so much press about Darfur and all these people getting killed, and yet you don't hear about the people that actually escape and still have to live, and they still need food and they still need water and everything. So what I did is that I set up like a kind of mini refugee camp in my yard, and I would show people in my neighborhood about this, and the way that it works is that you just put it out there for people to see. You don't just describe it in a letter, or you don't just take a picture of it in black and white and run a whole bunch of copies. You actually construct something for people to touch, to feel, to see, and I think it's important for people to realize that this stuff is real. It's not just, oh, something that's happening on the other side of the world. And I think that a visual, tactile presentation of this like really helps it stick in people's minds. I play flute and piccolo, and I'm learning tenor sax. I'm addicted to video games. I like just learning bits and pieces of every language. I got a little bit of Japanese, Chinese, uh, Tibetan, and uh, Swahili and Spanish. I took like three years of Spanish in school. A language is just like the gateway into a whole nother culture. It's like you can't understand the culture unless you use the language. Chinese especially, like because the like, the pictograms and um, it's kind of like hieroglyphs almost. Like I went on an Egyptian bend a couple years ago. That was kind of crazy. Like Chinese, it's like totally entwined with their daily life. It's like you look at English and you're like, oh, they're just a bunch of letters now, I guess. Because like Chinese, there's the whole drawing aspect, which I really like. Life should be measured in experience, not money. It's just like what you do defines you. I don't know, as long as you've got the ideas and the drive, you can do anything. Is Lakota hard to learn? 